be slightly different from if you operate away from it. So the advantages of a hot spot is high occupancy in peak season. If you're not getting that, you're probably in the wrong business. Um, possible all year round trade in some of the areas, because I think here they seem to get quite a lot of all round trade. Maybe it's the Snowden effect. Maybe there's a lot of things that happen event-wise to make that possible. Not all the hot spots are busy all year round. So Devon, Cornwall might be quite quiet in the winter months. Um, it's less marketing effort um, because people will just come to you often if you're in a hot spot. You won't have to go and drag them off the streets. They'll be wanting to come to Thunder Hill. Um, you can get away with a, what I call a lower quality product uh, and still get good ratings and still get a high occupancy. We, we, we stay in B&Bs in these areas so we, d we do see the difference. Um, a lot of people can actually filter guests because they get a lot of people ring in, in the very busy areas. Um, and they can actually choose whether they have a one night stay, a three night stay, um, whether they had a family, whether they just have a couple. Because they've got so many people wanting to stay with them, that that's the situation. We stayed in a place in um, <coughs> the, uh, St. David's. St. David's, yeah. Um, they were busy every day of the year, guests in every single day of the year and most of their rooms busy every single day of the year. And they used to just tell us that, yeah, they'd get all these calls coming in and just think, yeah, well, that one, that one, that one, that one, there's the people who'll be coming. And that's, that's a real hot spot place to be. Um, and therefore, they can minimize the one night stays, which I think we all recognize is the worst scenario. Um, probably a higher turnover for a similar B&B in a non-tourist location. Not necessarily true, but probably easier to achieve it. Started thinking about it whilst they were online, so that means. 